Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. This is the lightning edition of the Akala Network Review. If you're interested in learning more about the project or sharing insights with like-minded individuals, I highly recommend that you guys check out my Discord channel by clicking the link in the description below. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive into this video. All right, to begin the video, let's quickly cover who's supporting the project financially. The founding members include people from the Laminar team, which is basically like the synthetics of the Polkadot ecosystem. They let you get exposure to synthetic assets and margin trade. Polkadot, for those that watch my channel on a routine basis, know that it's basically a layer two scaling solution for Ethereum. Not only that, but they're gonna make a bridge to other chains, consequently connecting all the parachains on the Polkadot ecosystem with external blockchains. The Web3 Foundation gave Akala a big grant, and that foundation is run by Gavin Wood, who happens to be the founder of Polkadot. And since Polkadot is essentially funding this project, I suspect they want Akala to be the foundational DeFi protocol for the entire ecosystem. Not only do they have monetary and technical support from the Web3 Foundation, but they just received $7 million in a Series A through a simple agreement for future token sale. This round was led by Pantera Capital with participation from several investors, including Digital Currency Group, One Confirmation, Arrington XRP Capital, Polychain Capital, Autonomy, and CMS Holdings, among others. And even if we just look at Pantera alone, you can see that they've invested a lot into this space. They've invested into large and reputable companies. We've all seen a Lend token go up 100x over the last three to four months. And part of the reason why they went up so much was because VC was buying their token. You can see here that Parify invested 4.5 million, Framework Ventures and Three Arrows Capital invested 3 million into Aave. The important thing to understand here is that the team isn't just getting money from these organizations and VC firms, they're also getting access to their network. Getting capital and getting access to a broad network work synergistically. They'll get money for development and on top of that, they'll be able to accelerate their growth by tapping into broad networks. Moving along, Akala protocol is going to have three primitives. Number one, it's going to have its own stablecoin, AUSD, and it's going to work very similar to MakerDAO. However, it's going to be multi-chain on release and any parachain within the Polkadot ecosystem will be able to send and receive this stablecoin. Secondly, not only are you gonna be able to stake your DOT token, but you're also gonna be able to use it as collateral at the same time. The net result, you'll be able to earn passive income by staking your DOT tokens. Then you can proceed to take your L DOT and use it as collateral to mint a USD. Lastly, they're going to build a DEX similar to Uniswap. This way users can enjoy instant token swaps while token holders can provide liquidity into the pool to earn exchange fees, plus an additional reward to almost guarantee their yield. The added benefit to having a DEX integrated into this protocol, rather than being obligated to pay fees in DOT or Akala, you'll have flexibility in terms of choosing the asset that you pay fees in. On top of that, if you provide collateral and there's a liquidation event, you're more likely to get the best rate. To end the video, I'm gonna share with you guys my thoughts on the project. Ever since Polkadot made its way into the top 10, I've been very rigorously researching Polkadot related projects because I think Polkadot is a big player that's here to stay. Out of all the layer two scaling solutions for Ethereum, I think Polkadot is the most promising. Not only are they gonna be able to scale token transfer, but more importantly, they're gonna be able to scale the smart contracts. And in this review, we've established that Polkadot is funding the project directly. They wouldn't be doing that if it wasn't gonna be the bedrock of the entire Polkadot DeFi ecosystem. So if you're bullish on Polkadot, you should also be very bullish on Akala, especially with the current market environment where a lot of DeFi projects are taking off. And what makes me even more optimistic about the prospects of the project is the fact that a lot of VC firms are coming in. I think initially, especially with Lend and other DeFi protocols, when the space wasn't as hot, there wasn't much of VC interest, but we're seeing that increase rapidly. And this time it's a little bit different. The tokens are actually going to have utility. So when VC firms buy it, they actually have good reasons to hold it for the long term. For example, they'll get fees that are generated by the platform to the token. They'll get governance rights. Now, this doesn't mean that they won't ever sell any of their tokens. I'm sure they'll profit take. That's what VC firms are designed to do. They're designed to make money for their clients. But the net result of them investing is that they'll decrease their circulating supply, plus they'll leverage their network to make certain that the project is successful. 
In any DeFi ecosystem, for it to be successful, it needs to have a solid foundational layer, and that usually consists of a stablecoin protocol. Ethereum has DAI, and Polkadot is likely to have AUSD. This means as the entire Polkadot ecosystem grows, so will Akala. And recently I read this piece on Kill, and it appears that it's gonna be responsible for onboarding institutional clients. If that happens, the demand for AUSD, in my opinion, is gonna go through the roof. So because of the reasons I just outlined, I'm very bullish on the project. They haven't had their public sale, but me and my community are keeping an eye on it. And if that's a community you would like to be a part of because you like this project, you want to learn more about it, you're interested in DeFi, again, I highly recommend that you guys click the Discord link in the description below to join the best crypto community in the entire space. Now, even though I give most of my content away for free on YouTube and on Discord, consider checking out my Patreon page because I do have exclusive and private channels where I publish the tokens I'm buying, real-time moves that I'm making, plus you'll get Substack access to exclusive written content. And if you join some of the higher tiers, you'll also get to contact me directly and have a conversation. So if you have any interest, make sure you guys check out the link in the description below. With that, I'll go ahead and end this video. This is Crypto One Step signing up. I'll talk to you folks next time. Bye.